Side of it and screw it, huh? Right, hang on, throw it in the workshop. Yeah. Give me a push. That's what we need, isn't it? Oh well. Chad reckons it'll run. We shall see. Right. Mouse poo survived. First look. See that corner of the floor that's been patched up before. Quite common. Arches are tatty. It's not so big scrape in the sill. Spring hangers, so nice little bit of a wooden floor there. A bit on the inner arch. Rebalance, well, it doesn't look too bad. I don't know, you have to get the paint off. Look at that, a bit bubbly under that corner. You get quite a bit of that in the wheel arch repair sections from the club. Yeah, right. Like, going in there at the edge. See it's all splitting open. Not too bad as individual bits, but when it's all together, it's uh, it's quite a lot of time. Yeah, inner sills, jacking point, inner sills, jacking point, inner sills, ends, nice. A lot of mud and fiberglass holding that together there. Same side. Yeah, lovely. Hmm. Exhaust looks uh, reasonable. Hmm. Anyway, right, let's see if we can get it running, shall we? Right, so we're just going to clean the pool off now, get the old battery out, have a look at the points, take the plugs out, spin it over. Yeah, you reckon. Uh, right, here we go. Top bit. God, there's fucking mouse poo everywhere. Loves it. Right, I'll go and get some points, Chad. Take the plugs out. Oh, I'll get the tool to look at that. Uh, you don't want to watch this, do you? Sorry, you know the hoover, you know the hoover. I'm just going to go down this plug hole, number two. Because I happen to be nearest. Alright, do 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 do. But he said, I can't pay you. Well, can't probably get in there. Watch the, watch the video. Here, I'm going to link in the description below and I'm going to link Adam's live streams. These are a lot of live streams, guys, but I'm going to try to condense them down to the main points so you don't have to. But I highly recommend you watch. Oh, show. and we I can just sort of see. Make the decision for yourself. I don't like want to crystalline you stuff at the edge. Dusty. To be fair, that's what stuff normally yeah, looks at. I don't know if you can make that out. The problem that he had. Well, we've got the old plug here, haven't we? Alright, oh, that's one of the plugs. But... Look okay. Right, bit of PB blasted down each one. Uncle Tony. Like Uncle Tony's garage, if you watch him, he uses it a lot, recommends it. See that the mist is puffing out. As far as I'm concerned, they were separated. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't care. I think he's been turning this over in the garage. Oh, it might have been, I suppose, you never know. Because the star the star and it was still shiny. Right, here we go. Okay, we've uh, put our normal feed up. You might recognise this from other videos. Uh, battery, cranked it over a bit. 
to get the oil feed round, so hopefully that should be alright. So now we've got a spark, that's sparking, it's been hot wired to the live, so crank it over Chad, we'll see if it will go. Go on in, crank it over. Right, part two. It's freezing cold out here. Uh, we've taken the starter motor out, cleaned it up, put it back on, put a better lead and a better solenoid on the car. And here we go. Yeah, Maybe put some petrol in it. Nope, that's pulling the car. Right, take it off. Put a bit, drop more in there. Got great confidence that this is just going to start and it's going to run and it's going to be lovely. Yeah, we'll see. Right, come on. Then. Blow a mouse out the exhaust. I do. Well. Uh, right. Right, crank it over then, and I'll just put my hand over uh, there as a makeshift choke. Right. Go on. You put jump back on? No. Uh, right, go on, try again. Go on. <laughs> Thank you over then. Right, come on in. It starts on a starter and then it just doesn't. Again, we just warmed up the manifold with a heat gun. <laughs> oh, it's longer than before. Yeah, there is a bit, yeah, go on. Hey. Doing More juice. But this juice is rare. Yeah, we're trying easy start as well. I don't like you using easy start. My dad used it. to reckon they cars would get addicted to it, but anyway, we'll see. Right, try it again then. Right, we put it inside overnight. It's tucked next to the MX-5 Coupe. Um, and we're going to give it another go. It's been in the warm overnight. Right, plug it in then, Chad, and we'll uh, right crank it over again. <coughs> it runs, literally. <laughs> Why don't you put something in front of a fucking wheel? <laughs> 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 a fucking muppet. Woo! That was a rush. <laughs> <laughs> right, unpl
That's the first thing in the morning, see, I'm not thinking. Where's your phone? I didn't even, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even think to fucking write, yank the lead off or something, because it's like fucking... We were, we were pushing it yesterday, so I was like, that's oh, fine. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, okay, right, let's back it outside. You just shit yourself, didn't you? Where's my fucking phone? You're gonna find it in the engine bay and under the car. Yeah, I know, but I was just panicking fucking either. You'd be squashed between his car. I was holding it back. I was like, between uh, his car, yeah. I was holding it back, but I was like, well, there's only. Have you got a torch on, yeah? I don't know where I've dropped me. It's dropped it somewhere. It would, it would be under the car, behind the front well, it's, it's not under the car. It would be under Oh, there it is, Brandon, it drove, mate. It's like. It works. Uh, I got the lid off. The, um, it works, but not really. Float does seem to be working. Seems to be floating. Come on. Right. It's flooded completely. Right, super snipe starting. Take about 35. Um, ready? Yeah, go on. <laughs> right, right. take 37 or something. Right, go on then. Let me put the choke on. Him. Well, it is smoking, literally. Luckily, we had the wheels jacked up anyway, so. Yeah. Uh, okay, right, fire it up then. Chad, fire it up. Alright, lovely. Go on, go. Uh, see you, Yeah. Alright, happy days. Yeah, go on. Hold it back. Right, that go way. on. Yeah, we just found every time it's the engine's shaking, it's shaking the throttle open again. Right, go on then. Right, try it. <laughs> right, go on then. Take 41. <laughs> See the, the petrol filling up there, yeah. yeah. Right. Just as it was running just then, I could see the fuel was uh, coming through the pump. So it was running, it was gushing out of there, and that was wet. Um, so now, I just picked up that in haste just to uh, switch it off. So we've got to put that back on. Put this back on. Um, so I put some water in the radiator. Got the fuel can connected up to dump the old fuel out. Put some more petrol in there. Got the fire extinguisher. Wheels are jacked up. Uh, right, start it up again then, Chad. Uh, need to shut that throttle. Yeah, throttle shut. Go on. Overnight. Have you heard a smoother running engine? Anyway, uh, thank you for your patience. If you're still watching after this long from the title, Will It Run? Um, yeah, a lot of messing about. But um, yeah, it does run. Yeah, wheels are going. Right, we 
they've rolled it back outside. Put a bit of fuel in this container. Now, it's clear, it's not that yellow, but it's yellower. So I'd say it's old, but not as old as it's been parked up. It's sort of, um, it smells a bit sort of sweet. And normally it's, uh, it goes like, stinks like vile, real deep yellow fucking piss when it's, um, when it's like, you know, 20 years old, 30 years old. So anyway, we'll bump it all out. Have a quick look in the tank with the scope and uh, put some fresh fuel in it. Right, ignition on again. Right. <coughs> no. Ready. So that does move it a little bit. That checks over fine, you know. I wonder how much fuel's in there. Get the endoscope thing, we'll have a look in the uh Well, the amp meter moves. I don't know if you can hear the ticking on the video of the indicators. Oh, it says nearly a quarter of a tank on the gauge. We're doing 10 mile an hour. Hmm. This one, if you ever have wondered how much petrol your car uses, that's how slowly it dribbles away on tick over. And we have it running under its own petrol. Lovely. Right, anyway, he decided to piss itself and split its hose up here from the uh, heater matrix. Uh, gushed out, it's just pissed water all everywhere. Uh, loads of steam and everything, and uh, yeah, nice. And it wet itself. So, anyway, at least it runs. Happy days. Uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If anyone wants to buy it, give me a call.